We will look at personal preparations for the rapture. Personal preparations for the rapture. Luke chapter 21. Praise the Lord. Personal preparation for the rapture. Luke chapter 21 verse 34. Verse 34 to 36. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your heart be unchanged. Your heart be overcharged with suffering. Amen and drunkenness and cares of this life so that that day will come upon you unawares. Amen. 35. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Watch. Watch. The cares of life. The school fees for your children. The challenge of survival. I want to do business. The cares of life. I remember Lord's wife. Looking back to the wall, be careful. Ensure personal preparation. Anything that is within your power, do. The one that you cannot do, leave it to God. Don't kill yourself. Don't allow anything to weigh you down. Don't allow anything to suppress you because you want something. Live with the consciousness of this great event that the world is waiting for. Live with the consciousness of the rapture. For this is the only event that the world is waiting for. And it will shake the world to its foundation. Those who are in the aircraft, aeroplanes will fall from the sky. Trains will stop. Everything will come. The world will stand still for the Son of Man. But he will stop midway. You that is going through this persecution now, you will meet him up there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is the great event that the world is waiting for. First John chapter 3. Amen. Believe in the consciousness of the time. Don't allow anything to distract you. They will certainly say so many things. But close your ears. Praise the Lord. Behold, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that had this hope in him purified himself, even as he is pure. If you are living in the consciousness of this time, you will be conscious of your lifestyle. If you are in sin, you will know. You will quickly want to make a man. Like I told us, I had to run to our international director. There is a problem. Do that to shame the devil. There is a problem. Purify yourself. Don't allow any sin to be outstanding against you. Don't go to bed with any sin. Whether it is witchcraft, don't be ashamed. Come, you will be delivered. Except if you are a born demon. That is a different thing. That one is a different thing. But if it is witchcraft or you are a wizard, confess it. Because 
you can be delivered out of it. Prayer deliver you. So why are you ashamed? Will you be ashamed now and go into eternal rest with God now that we are in the seventh day or you want to end up in the lake of fire? Because the world is going into rest like we read. The world is going into rest. We are in extra time. Purify yourself. Do your restitution. Do your restitution. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. I went to the inspector general of police. I told him, I have come to see you. I was in his house in the official residence. He said, okay, my chairman, what is the problem? This particular IG was the principal staff officer to the IG that I work with as the chairman of House Committee on Police Affairs. And indeed, like I said, the assignment also took me around the world. So I met him. I told him that I am now a born-again Christian. I have learned about restitution. You know what happened in the police. He was the principal staff officer of the IG. Indeed, he knew. And I told him that most of the things that transpired in terms of money that I received in bribery some, I cannot return. I have come to you to seek for forgiveness. I want you to show me mercy. But if you choose otherwise, then you take the appropriate measure you can do. He, he thought I was crazy. That is why I told you that what I see, they do not see. He told me, ah, my child, but why now? You know, but you help your people now. You put many of your people in police. I said, that is not what I'm talking about. Those that I did that were wrong, I need to come and... I cannot even count them. The number of money that was given to me in bribe, I cannot even count them. I have lost the figure, but all I know, I know that I am guilty. He said, no. But if that is what you mean, we have forgiven you. Praise the Lord. Don't be afraid of restitution. The Lord will find a way. It is better you are persecuted even. You have made yourself clear. You have made yourself free. Yes, you have made yourself free. I was to return some money even at the level of the state. And one of my brothers was like, let me, it will be used against you as you see. I cannot lie because I want to speak the truth. I cannot lie. Those were monies that were for government that were stolen. They are stolen. And these thieves, they are stronger than the armed robbers on the highway. They are stronger. Most states are not supposed to be broke. But because there are bigger armed robbers that hold pen. I said I had to return it because it was not my money. They were taken from government account. Up to four million that time. I returned it to the state. I'm talking of in, the, in those days, like 16 years ago. You know. So no shame in it. Do your rest. Clean up yourself. Because I live so long in these things. Sometimes while in the faith, you remember something that went wrong. And then you, I keep telling God, please God, bring them to my memory. Bring them to my memory. Do your recitation. We thank the Lord for our father who is doing his marriage restitution. We thank the Lord for the mercy upon his life. This is really the mercy of God. I'm told that the wife actually was the first to discuss it with him. It is also the mercy of God upon her life. I pray that she will hold on to it. In doing restitution of marriage, you don't owe apology to anybody. In this case, thank God the wife knows. Otherwise, you can well walk up, sorry, ma, you are not my wife, and I want to go to heaven. So, tell It is very, very clear. The Bible is no respecter of persons. So, let us understand this very, very well. Look at it in Galatians. 
Galatians chapter 6 verse 14 but God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus by whom the world is crucified unto me and I unto the world so let us be bold in our restitution Galatians chapter 1 verse 10 For do I now persuade men or God Or do I seek to please men For if I yet please men I should not be the servant of Christ Exactly You are not doing this to please men You don't owe apology to anybody You want to go to heaven an elder state man from my community, an educationist who did a similar restitution. The wife came to me, the wife who is a member of the Holiness Revival Movement came to me. She left the house. She said, I have seen the light now. I asked her, now what do you do about your marriage? She said, I want to go back. You want to go back? Leave it to me. I now went to see the husband. I called him. I say, Uncle, now you know Christianity forbids two marriages. You marry two wives. You are living in adultery. How do you address this aspect? You are no longer getting younger. You are an elderly man. Well respected in our community. Straight, a principal man. He sat quietly for some time and asked and told me, now I married another lady, it's an Igbo lady, and we have children. What do I do with her? What do I do with her? I sat a while, I told him that, let us take it to the Lord in prayer. Let us pray about it. We kept praying. I reported this matter to the international director. The next time I came to the house, to the village, he came to me and told me that there is good news for his family. I said, what is the good news? He said the Igbo wife that he married second, one day in the morning, 5.30, she woke him up. He woke up. Um, you know, we have been married together for a long time now. I didn't know because I didn't understand the Bible. Now the Lord has opened my eyes. I discover you are not my husband. Give a clap offering to Jesus. Anything you take to the Lord in prayer must be answered. All you need to do is to be patient. I told him, I said, you see, I told you that let us pray about it. Now the work has reduced, has finished. So his original wife had to come back home. After this correction, I don't think, he didn't stay up to three years, he died. You see the mercy of God? Isn't that good news for him? It takes somebody that the Lord loves so much. To understand this. But others are living in adultery and are going about. They are playing with the patience of God. Because God is not man and He is so, so patient with us. So the situation of our uncle is personal preparation. Personal preparation. Be crucified to the wall. Be crucified to the wall. 1 John chapter 2. Live a life that you are focused on the cross. Amen. Turn your back to the wall and face the cross. 1 John chapter 2 verse 15 to 17. Love not the wall, neither the things that are in the wall. If any man love the wall, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. 
and the wall passeth away, and the lost thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Be crucified to the wall. Those things that worry them shouldn't worry you. Those concerns about who becomes this, who becomes that, shouldn't worry you. Let the will of God prevail all the time. Allow the will of God to prevail all the time. Ensure that you are living a life of consciousness of the time. Apostle Paul told us in his letter to the church in Rome, in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, he said, Do not conform to the pattern of this world. This world has a pattern. And that is why the Holiness Revival Movement tell you that, see, stop this kind of babbing, this punk babbing you are doing. This is pattern of, it's fashion. This beauty contest that you see Christians, mostly are Christians, you don't find Zainab there, but you find charity. You will find Mary, you will find Esther walking naked in the name of beauty contest. Half naked. That is the pattern of the world. Do not follow the pattern of the world. But be in the renewal of your mind all the time. The Lord will help you. The world actually has a, a pattern. Praise the Lord. Philippians chapter 3. If you live with the consciousness of these things we are saying, you will live a life of victory. You will live a life that will be full of joy. Who lives a life that is not filled with concern, that doesn't know Jesus? Tell me one person. It is one challenge to the other. It is either he's worried about what will happen tomorrow, he's worried about... Uh, the context between him and the next person and all that. Philippians chapter 3 verse 7 and 8. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them by dung that I may win Christ. Mark chapter 8 verse 36 So, get to understand these things that you may not live a careless life because there is no time again There is no time again Mundane things things that ordinarily you have forgotten you are holding it against your brother I don't talk to him, he thinks he's something no, stay away from that. Verse 36 in Mark chapter 8. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What is that? What is that vanity? What is that? This is your struggling. See others that struggle and die in the process. Go and listen to their cry. Listening to their cry. They wish they were given two hours to come and do restitution in the world. But the door of grace is shut against them. The door of grace is shut against them. So what are you talking about? We are reading the last scripture in 1 John chapter 1. Be conscious of these things. 1 John chapter 1 verse 1 to 7. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life, that eternal life which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. This, then, is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. 
and we do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. Praise the Lord. So, purify yourself. Live a life of preparation that you will have a story to tell when you see the Lord. When you see the Lord. If you do these things that this ministry teaches, you will never regret. You will sit with the saint and remember these persecutors, what they were telling you in the world. Hey, look at her. She doesn't dress well. Look at him. He's talking of holiness. And they will be mocking you. Stand firm. Don't bother. You are looking for a bigger reward. You are looking for your, you are waiting for your crown. Let us rise up with our feet and sing this song.